What's up guys, how's it going? I know it's been a while and I've been off of YouTube, uh, but I've been really busy. It's kind of hard to work both things, work business. But anyways, we're back. Uh, we got a new shop. Uh, since the last time you guys seen us, we were working from home. We had all this stuff at home. Uh, some of the stuff was in storage. I showed it in my Instagram. Uh, but we're back. Uh, and this is my shop. Bumble up. So again, this is my shop. This is what we have here. Uh, everything that you see on the wall is my personal or my personal banshees. Uh, 1991, uh, 1998. Uh, actually, it was supposed to be that there was supposed to be an order by by year, but I put that 98 up there because my 92 wasn't ready and still wasn't ready. But 92 will eventually be up there. 91, uh, 98, 93. Now this 93 is a little special. It's from Rocky Mountain, the Rocky Mountain ATV. Uh, go on YouTube and look up Rocky Mountain ATV Banshee. You're gonna see this Banshee. They rebuilt it from the ground up. Uh, engine, everything. Uh, I don't like that they use uh, aftermarket cylinders and some cheap pistons in it, but that's what Rocky Mountain used, so that's how we're going to leave it. Um, but 1993, uh, they have their own custom graphic kit and whatever. And uh, funny story how I found this bike, I was always watching videos and hoping one day I would find it for sale and you know it would come in my hands. And one day my brother woke me up at 2 in the morning. He was like, yo, the bike came up for sale. We messaged the people, never answered. We called Rocky Mountain ATV. They told me we didn't know what I was talking about. You know, his customer service reps didn't know anything about this bike. And then I received a call from their sales rep that he's named Jeremy. And he told me, yo, the bike's mine. If you want it, here it is. This is what you gotta pay for it. I paid for it, and that's on my show. Uh, 1994, now this is another special bike. Before I started selling Banshees, I used to sell um, any type of quad, you know, YZ 450s, Raptors, anything I get my hands on, make a buck on. Uh, so I acquired this bike before I knew anything about Banshees. Uh, it was, um, I bought it from the second owner. The first owner is Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence, the comedian, the guy from Bad Boys, Big Mama's House, that guy. Uh, I have registration with his name on it. Uh, but he was the first owner, second owner. was a guy that bought it at a storage auction that was owned, the storage that was auctioned off was owned by Martin Lawrence. And he acquired it. Now the guy that acquired it came with a plastic screen. Um, and when I, you know, I, I, again, I bought it when I was selling other bikes and benches. So I bought it and I sold it. You know, I kept the registration. Just you know, something cool member member of, member of India. But um, I spent years after that. Once I really got into benches, looking for this, for this bike again. Um, I posted. I think I posted. I was looking for it or something like that. But the guy contacted me. Like, I'll sell it back to you. I got it back. Uh, it was still green. We started uh, paint stripping the plastics because I remembered that the purple wheels, the purple plastic, everything was bone stock, but it just needed some love. And after a long work, a long work and help from my boy Jose, Jose, in, he does in Massachusetts. Um, I did some of the work, but he did 90% of the work. So I sent him the bike. Uh, we restored everything 100%. Every nut and bolt was brand new. Uh, he polished the plastics. He polished the plastics. Obviously, they're dusty from sitting here, but he polished the plastics by hand. I think it was like 40 hours of, of polishing. You see, they sit here. But uh, other than that. Everything is pretty much brand new. Uh, wheels don't have a scratch on them. Good Dunlops. Everything's been redone, restored. It's a, basically a brand new Banshee sitting on this shelf. Um, again, the plastics do have a little bit of scratches here and there. You can see scratches there. But in that box there, I have a brand new set of NOS plastics. Brand new, never been mounted or anything like that that go along with this bike. Um, but yeah, it's been sitting there. Uh, the little plastic piece is coming off, but uh, another one for my collection was a B. This is a must have for any Banshee collector. It's the last year made, the only anniversary model they ever made in a Banshee. And yeah, uh, other than having that thumb throttle, everything is bone stock. It was only written three times by, by the original owner. It was a husband and wife. They had they both had the yellow ones. Uh, she, the wife owned this one and she only wrote it three times. Uh, this thing is literally brand new. Uh, literally just sits here again this is part of my collection they're rarely used um another one 06 white uh not my favorite bike but um the condition that it's in it's again it's brand new the owner used it once according to him i mean it could have been a few times but from what i could tell it's probably been ridden maybe a couple times in its life and there's my 92 i'm just waiting for the right set of wheels to come along for me to put on it uh, other than that, it just needs a bumper, OEM wheels, and some heel guards, and she's back in action. And this is a 93 that I have. Um, I have a special bond with 93s because I was born in 93. 
so that's why i have i actually used to have another 93 there but i got rid of it but um soon enough we'll get to this one and we'll get it working all right and these are some black hole six SCs. um yeah, this, i mean i like them uh, it's just not one of my personal favorites but i've always been debating on whether i would keep one or not but now it's not the time i'm not, I'm not that interested in one of these but these two uh this is one of utah we've already sold them this one's available uh, for pickup uh this is just uh parts you know you have everything for podium seats, uh, there's only a plastic, a brand new seat there. Uh, uh, brand new 94 plastics, original, never mounted. Uh, brand new OEM plastics, a different feather. Just random parts, you know, let's talk about, you know, OEM exhaust down here, aftermarket exhaust here and up there. You can see up there we have aftermarket exhaust. Just stuff like that, just I mean, parts. It, you know, it's a good thing to keep everything that we need laying around because. Uh, I'm working on a bike and I need something, I just come to the shelf and I will find it. Um, it's very rare when I don't have the part that I need. But uh, if you ask, sometimes people ask me on Instagram if I sell parts. Uh, when I post parts for sale, they are for sale. But if you ask me, I really don't sell my parts for the same reason that I'm working on bikes every day. A lot of bikes have gone to the shop and we always need parts. So that's basically why I don't sell my parts. Again, we got A-arms, we got stuff that needs to go to powder, we got steering stands. Used plastics, gas tanks, uh, uh, shrouds. I don't know, carburetor area. People ask me how what I do to clean carburetors. There you go. Pretty much like you. Uh, ultrasonic cleaner. That's what we use. There's a little tub here that you see it's an ultrasonic cleaner. And again, it needs your carburetors pretty much looking like new. Um, yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, we have a tire machine, uh, a couple of toolboxes, uh, three toolboxes, actually, our lunch area our TV, our speaker, and that's it. But uh, let me tell you guys what we're really working on today. Uh, we got a 2008, a real 2008. As you guys know, the 08s were not produced in the US. Uh, they stopped in 06. So 07 and 08 were produced in uh, Canada. Uh, and then from uh, Canada, they started producing them. Uh, they stopped producing veggies in Canada in 08, and then they went you know, they kept on going in other countries, uh, in South America, um, Australia, and uh, Europe, and Dubai, I think. But, um, yeah, so this is all we guys. Uh, we stripped it down. We're um, pretty much doing a deep clean. Uh, we stripped them down from head to toe. Uh, we leave it as a roller. Uh, put it on our tax and take off the wheels, and then start taking it apart some more, and then start cleaning and, you know, doing what we do. Um, you can see on this side, you can see the VIN number. The tenth digit on the VIN is a number eight. Uh, so, you know, 08. And then the plastics are over here. There's a rear plastic with uh, OEM graphics. Now we have not decided yet if we're gonna try to revive these plastics, which we can do and we've done before, or we're gonna go with brand new ones. It all depends on what the customer wants. There's already a customer that wants this bike, so. Uh, you see the, the warning labels on the plastics are from another country. You see the warning labels from the plastics are from another country. You don't see these in the U.S. The rear one's different too. And again, they are OEM. There's you know part numbers. That's how you can tell that basically when uh, fancy plastics are real, they have uh, part numbers. And then. A lot of you guys don't know this, but. A lot of Banshee uh, plastics have inventory codes on the bottom. So in 05, they started producing these plastics. Uh, there's 06, and they sat in the warehouse till 2007. Obviously, 08, they were launched as an 08 Banshee. But, um, yeah. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to keep uh, you know, going through this. I just wanted to do a quick a review and a catch up. If you follow me on my social media at Yegason, double L E G U E S O N. Um, you'll see mostly what we do. Um, I'll try to keep this YouTube thing going. It's kind of hard, but that's what we've been up to, guys. We got a shop. We, uh, you know, we expanded uh, out of my backyard to a shop, and things have been going good for us, for us guys. Hope to give you guys more YouTube videos. Let's get to it. Let's get to the fun stuff. You know, this was, I don't know, you guys might like this. I don't know, but uh, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's start working on banshees, and let's see if we can get you guys a montage of me working on this over here. Uh, it'll take a few days, so hopefully this uh, video goes up quick.
All right, guys, next up after washing the frame and stuff is washing the motor. Uh, take off the stator cover and we try to clean all try this. To clean off all this grime, all this nasty stuff. All this will come off. Uh, degreaser and a toothbrush. Um, in there is clean. Uh, but yeah, uh, wash all the motor, make it nice and really nice, and then drop it back in. But uh, there's some of the parts. Wheels back over there. Right, guys, so we're doing a little update on the 08. Um, it's been a few days uh, waiting on parts and all that stuff, but our uh, deep cleaning is done. Shout out to my boys at BBC Trikes for the shirt. Uh, I picked up a 06 from them a while back ago, and I pretty much did the same thing that I'm doing in this one. But yeah. deep cleaning is done. We put the motor back in. We just finished the wiring. We're just waiting for. Um, Wheels and tires to get put on. Uh, we're gonna drop it to the ground, um, fill it with oil, just you know, just everything we have to do. Uh, put a new uh, OEM filter on it. Um, what else? Yeah, taking out the carbs. We did a deep clean. We cleaned everything, everything. You guys you can see in the in, you know in the whole video that we've been uh, shooting, everything we did to it. Uh, now it's just pretty much put the last of the wiring on and off switch, heat switch, uh, gas tank. Um, put some fuel in it. Put the pipes on it and then get it going. Yeah, that's the update on this little thing. Uh, stay tuned, watch this thing transform from uh, what it was to what it's going to be. There you guys can see everything is nice and clean. Gotta put the clips on right, I already did that side, but we gotta do this side. Um, everything's ran how it's supposed to be ran. Um, obviously guys, a little tip when you guys are putting a bike back together, uh, put grease on every single nut and bolt that you guys put back in just so it helps the next guy, uh, you know, be kind to the next guy that's gonna be working on this thing. Take out nuts and bolts because uh, if you do not put grease, all you're supposed to, the nuts and bolts end up getting like this. See where it's, you know, start seizing and stuff. After we clean them up, this is how we put them in and then we put a little bit of grease in it so it helps the next guy. But there you guys go, a little update. Okay, so finally the old is done. As you guys can see, it looks way different than how she came in. Uh, we spent about a full week, roughly, uh, cleaning this thing. We took it all apart. We polished the plastics. Uh, you can see the plastics reflect like crazy. This is no armor on, no SC1, no shine spray, nothing. This is all buffed by hand. Uh, me and my coworker here uh, literally took, took the bike apart. Um, we got the pipes re -seracoded. This is no shine on these pipes. You see there's no drag, nothing from it being uh, armor on. Um, Took it apart and did a deep cleaning, guys. Uh, this bike is ridiculous how nice it is. And again, this is no way it was not produced in the uh, in the U.S. Uh, it's a silver swing arm. Uh, it's, it's a nice clean bike, guys. Uh, it is already sold. It's gone to a, a private collector in the U.S. Um, yeah, that's uh, the, the the finishing product. Um, Little things, yes, I pointed you guys out. Um, right here, you guys can see this warning label is different uh, than uh, the ones in uh, the US. Uh, these are the OEM decals. Again, we had to preserve them because the guy that wanted to buy the bike wanted us to keep it original. These are the OEM decals. They're a little worn, but we did what the guy what the customer wanted, you know. The customer has the last word. Um, beautiful piece. Uh, I would love to keep one one day, but I mean, business is business and it has to keep flowing, guys. So, this is the finished product. Uh, pretty soon, we'll be posting tutorials of, uh, on a how to or you know, how we do everything. It's just the long process. There'll be long videos. I don't know if you guys want to see that. If you guys want to see that, comment, like, subscribe, comment below what you guys want me to show you what to do. If you want me to show you how to build plastics, if you want me to show you how to clean the bike, uh, again, this is just trial and error, I don't know if it's the right way, but it's the way I've been doing it for the last four years. It's been four years of me learning how to scrub, you know, plastics, how to scrub the frame, how to polish, what waxes and what, you know, wax, what waxes to use, what waxes to avoid. So yeah, um, it's done. Here's one of the customer in Utah. Um, the only thing that we replaced on this bike was the throttle cap. Uh, the handlebar is also brand new and the seat is brand new. Uh, just because the seat has small tear, you can still get these brand new. Yamaha still makes these things. Uh, again, the bike is not mint, it's just a nice example. You know, you'll see some scuffs here. I think the grab bar has a couple of scratches. We did not replace this, but it's still a nice little survivor piece. It's not that damaged, so 
the original of the bike, why not keep it? The only thing we did was set the pipes, again, replace the seat handlebar, throttle cap, new grips, and um, do it, give it a deep cleaning. It's the original top end bike is, it's a nice little example of an 08, guys. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we are opening our merch store, so you guys want to get hats, shirts, uh, stickers. Uh, we might be doing the sweaters because winter's coming up. Um, anything you guys want, uh, we do have a website coming up with all the merch, guys. So thank you guys so much. This is our return video. You guys seen the shop. You guys seen what we did to this 08. Uh, stay tuned for more. I'll try to post a lot more. I've been off of YouTube for about a year. But I promise you guys, we are coming back. We will try to give you guys more and more stuff. So thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.